Lady of Naja Shrine, Holy City of God, where the combined miracles have continued to happen. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to the Blessed Mother. I am glad to see you. As their children of this world are living their lives incorrectly, the Blessed Mother says, Children, please live good lives. Please live good lives. She pleaded with them, repeating the same words over and over again, but many did not heed her words. So, Our Lady has come to Korea, a small country, and called us by shedding her tears. If you arm ourselves graciously with the five spiritualities and offer up and entrust everything to Jesus and the Blessed Mother, they will send down more abundant blessings upon us today. Jesus performed the Eucharistic miracles a few times during the June 30th celebration period. The Blessed Mother shed tears and tears of blood for a total of 700 days from June 30, 1985 to January 14, 1989. Even now, she continues weeping tears as well as exuding fragrant oil by squeezing her whole body. She also sends down streams of the water of mercy. Jesus sends down his precious blood. They have been bestowing upon us endless love. On June 30th, Jesus on Mountain Calvary also wept tears and exuded bloody sweat, and not only that, thick body fluid profusely along the cross. <laughs> On another day, thick fluid continued to ooze down from the statue of St. John on Mount Calvary. So, we collected this fluid from both the statue of St. John and the crucifix by placing a plastic bag underneath each of them. <laughs> The Lord continued showing us so much love in that way. The Blessed Mother statue at the side of the miraculous spring wept not only tears but had a lot of nosebleeds and also wept the tears of blood. <laughs> Furthermore, she even suffered the pain of the crown of thorns with Jesus and bled. The Blessed Mother statue on Mountain Calvary also shed tears and exuded fragrant oil and golden fragrant oil by squeezing her whole body profusely. Our Lord has granted us Eucharistic miracles 33 times.
그래서 세상 곳곳에서 한 가지씩 일어나는 기적들이 나중에서는 복합적으로 현재까지 계속 Show the miracle of the sun numerous times and has given us the miraculous water. Miracles that have happened in each place of apparition in the world have occurred in combination in Naju to the present. We should abandon our human way of thinking. On June 30th, I was told that Jesus on Mount Calvary was weeping tears. I went to the blessed mother's mountain where many pilgrims had gathered. Jesus was continuously weeping tears. His thick body fluid and sweat was exuding from his entire body, including his feet, and it was flowing down along the cross. When I was trying to collect his thick body fluid, a man said, Isn't this just plain water? Isn't it the water flowing up from a hole in the cross? It immediately stopped flowing down. Again, on June 30th in another year, his thick body fluid was flowing down from the crucifix. Then, one volunteer drove a nail into it to increase the flow. At that moment, the water stopped flowing down. Since then, the thick fleet has never flowed out from there again. When pilgrims had applied it to themselves, those who had problems with eyes, ears, hearts, and so on, were healed. Many people were healed. However, the volunteer drilled a hole in the crucifix with a nail just to get more of his fluid. This caused the fluid to completely stop flowing. <laughs> This demonstrates that we should never have human thinking in what God is working. On June 30th, 1995, many things happened. The miracle of the sun happened that day. The sun moved down and up. It was so magnificent. The sun appeared in a variety of colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple, and gold. Holy images appeared. Baby Jesus appeared. The Blessed Mother with the baby Jesus in her arms appeared. The Holy Spirit in the form of a dove appeared, and the resurrected Jesus appeared and blessed us. Various appearances. People cried and screamed with joy at this wondrous sight. On that day at the Mass, the parish priest was the main celebrant. Seven foreign priests can celebrate with him, while four or five other priests did not go onto the altar but stayed by my side. 
<웃음> 제가 또 계시고 싶으셔가지고 제가 그래서 제 손만 꼭꼭이죠 There was a Japanese priest, Father Shimura, who was 92 years old. Celebrating the Mass was, of course, important. However, because he wanted to be my side, he didn't do so. Instead, he held my hand firmly. And other priests. Father Louis Busmans from Canada was standing beside me taking photos. There were also other priests, including Father Sue and Father Jerry Olvis, who were present. <laughs> Father Sue has been with us for a long time, during which he has witnessed the Eucharistic miracle six times. <laughs> That day, when the Eucharistic miracle happened, instantly there was a smell of blood. Within moments, the smell of blood spread to Father Shimura and the other priests, so everyone was very amazed to experience the miracle. The priests, as well as everyone else, cried a lot. During the miracle, a lady who had accompanied Father Shimura of Japan kept taking photos. And I said that the Blessed Mother was also watching the Eucharistic miracle. Later, to our surprise, the image of the Blessed Mother was captured in the photos that the Japanese lady had taken. <laughs> In the first picture, the Eucharist turned into flesh and blood in my mouth, and many people watched it. On the next picture, a light was seen at the side of a sister who was watching like this. Before, the shoulder of the one who was watching was seen, and then the light was shone. Following that, the Blessed Mother was seen wearing a veil. She was watching the miracle along with us. <laughs> Her lady showed her demeanor in the photo as if saying, Oh, the Eucharistic miracle, let me see it too. Back then, photos were taken on film only. Through that miraculous photo, the Blessed Mother clearly showed us that although she is in heaven, she is also like one of us. She came to us as our true mother, so let us be comfortable in following the Blessed Mother. Amen. Amen. And the Blessed Mother said, My adorable priest whom I can put in my eyes without feeling any pain. Let us all pray hard for the priests so that they can become saintly priests. Amen. Early the next morning during the prayer meeting, while praying with Father Sue and the pilgrims, 
seven sacred oaths descended. Why does the Lord perform Eucharistic miracles? Jesus shows us the Eucharistic miracle never as a spectacle for us to see, right? Yes, Jesus loves us so much that he comes to us hiding his divinity, humanity, majesty, power, and everything. In Lanciano, Italy, the Eucharistic miracle occurred only once. But as soon as the Eucharistic miracle occurred, many faithful came back to the church. Nowadays, most people's hearts are much hardened. Even though Jesus cries out the same words repeatedly, showing many miracles, many people still do not listen. That is why he has shown us the Eucharistic miracle 33 times. How much does Jesus love us that Jesus would say, Oh, I wish to come to each of my children, but how can I reach them? Jesus, for whom nothing is impossible and who created something out of nothing, can do everything. He would have said, how can I reach a of my children? So, he established the sacrament of the Eucharist. At the Last Supper, he broke the bread and said, This is my body. Likewise, for the wine, this is my blood. He said, Do this in memory of me. That is how he comes to us through priests. Jesus could have come to us directly, but he chooses not to do so. Instead, Jesus has given priests the power of consecrating the Eucharist, which he has not even granted to cherubim, archangels, or any other angels. Jesus installed priests as his ministers. Jesus forgives our sins through them. That is why priests are so precious. As written in the Gospel, Matthew chapter 18, verse 18, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. When installing Peter as the Pope, Jesus said, You are a rock. However, Peter cannot do it all by himself. So the Pope, Cardinals, Bishops, Monsignors, and Priests are sent to carry on this mission. Yes, 
Therefore, we receive Holy Communion through the priests. It is Jesus that we receive. However, if in the clergy, many of them do not know it. That is why Jesus has shown the Eucharistic miracle also for the priests, so that they may make it known to the world. Nonetheless, many priests refuse to accept it. When Jesus came into this world 2,000 years ago, some accepted him, but some did not. Among those who accepted Jesus suffered many tribulations. Murders were beheaded burned to death or cut to pieces by sawing. Nevertheless, they offered up their suffering joyfully. Before the negative declaration on Naju was issued, I told everything to my parish priest in the spirit of obedience. He said, Please, don't do that so much. Decide on your own what you can do. So I said, Father, love was my priority. But after witnessing the Blessed Mother's tears, obedience has become my top priority, so I must obey. Then he said, though it's annoying, I accept your decision. He watched over me for the following four years. Then the parish priest said to me, I think the majority of those who persecute you, Julia, and the Blessed Mother of Naju, are priests and nuns. They do it out of envy and jealousy because you are doing what they can't do. If there are those who say you are disobedient, bring them all to me. I'll tell them the truth. Even though some people said I was disobedient, I've never taken any of them to that priest. One time when I went to heaven, I told God the Father that I did not want to return to the world because people were committing sins because of me. Then God the Father told me to think about His Son. What did He go through on earth? I replied, oh, yes. So, as long as I'm alive, I dedicate myself for the sake of Jesus and the Blessed Mother and for your sake. While I was offering up suffering, all kinds of disease came to me. It started when I keep praying that the Lord will heal all the 12,420 diseases for your sake. It is said that there are 12,420 diseases in the world. So, the reason I'm sick is because I really asked Jesus to grant me many sufferings. And I'm offering up my sufferings for your sake. 
At times, my suffering comes in the form of disease, and the Lord heals me at some point. We do not know how much longer we will live. 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. We cannot know our own life expectancy at all, right? Therefore, for the rest of our lives, let us fully arm ourselves with the five spiritualities and practice them. Dear all, not all healings occur only with my touch. I have been a bird light, and so many patients with incurable disease have been healed. Of course, in Rutang, Indonesia, when I apply the miraculous holy water to their affected body parts, the mute deaf and blind were healed. However, even when I just prayed for them from afar, countless incurable patients were also healed. When I went to the Philippines, I didn't even pray for them in person, but a blind man opened his eyes and a patient with brain cancer was healed that day. So, dear all, be healed by faith. <laughs> Faith is important, but what is most important is repentance. How does Jesus come to us? He comes to us through the sacrament of Eucharist. In and through Naju, Jesus has shown us Eucharistic miracles 33 times. <laughs> <laughs> One sister hated her husband and her parents-in-law so much that she would open bitter children. You might also have done that before, right? Not gonna fact. She was living like this. <laughs> However, when she came here on June 30th, 1995, she witnessed the Eucharistic miracle. Listening to me say not to receive sacrilegious communion, she realized she was doing it until then. It's all related to the five spiritualities. Oh, while I hate my husband, I received communion. After feeding up my children, I received communion. While hating my parents-in-law, I received communion. Oh, I really did wrong. She felt and realized it. She beat her chest and crying she made of her mind. I will never receive sacrilegious communion again. After this, she tried not to receive sacrilegious communion anymore. So she treated her husband, parents-in-law, and children well, and love began to blossom among them. That was how love sprung up in them. 
느끼니까 사람이 변화된 거예요. 그러다 보니까 5대 영성으로 무장하고 실천하게 된 것입니다. 네. 내가 우리 5대 영성 무장하고 실천합시다. After witnessing just one Eucharistic miracle, she realized her sins and was changed. That's how she armed herself with the five spiritualities and practiced them. Dear all, let's arm ourselves with the five spiritualities and practice them. A couple from Yongguang came on a pilgrimage to Our Lady of Naju Shrine and worked as volunteers. By the way, on only seeing one photo of the Blessed Mother's weeping tears of blood, she came to Naju. Wow, this is the way to Naju Shrine. The lady said to herself, Oh, this is how the Blessed Mother of Naju called me. Her husband had been suffering from diabetes for 30 years, but he was healed completely during their first vigil prayer in Naju. His blood glucose level was so high that he even went to USA for treatment. All diabetic who had been hospitalized with him had passed away already. But he was healed of his diabetes on his first day in Nachu. <laughs> But before that, the very first grace you received was repentance. Now, dear all, realize it and let us repent thinking, Oh, I've been living wrongfully like this. If you repent, the five spiritualities are all included in that. <laughs> Then, suddenly, her mother-in-law collapsed and had a brain hemorrhage and half of her brain skin came up black. There was no chance at all that she would be revived. So, she begged the doctor to inject at least albumin into her as her final treatment. But when he tried, it didn't go in her. <sighs> So she finally baited her. All nine siblings came, and people in the neighborhood also gathered and were preparing for her deathbed. These days, we hold funerals at the funeral halls, but in the old days, we used to have them at home. However, it was right after the first Saturday overnight meeting. At the time, I was young, so I met and prayed for each pilgrim individually until after 8 o'clock in the next morning. I used to go to the 10 a.m. mass in my parish then. However, on that day, I had met the pilgrims until 10 a.m. Then I had a phone call in the evening from the lady asking me to pray for her mother-in-law's peaceful death. So I went there immediately, thinking she has worked for Our Lady of Naju. I should go help her. When I arrived there, the body of her mother-in-law was stiff and as cold as ice. 
The whole family and even the neighbors were gathered together. They all circled around her, preparing her deathbed. I held her in my arms and I unknowingly prayed that the Lord might revive her. I was told that there was no point to say such a prayer as her life was already close to death. About 25 family members sat around like this and behind them, the people of the neighborhood. <laughs> I, without my knowledge, began to pray for each one of her family members. By the way, they all responded to my prayers with Amen, Amen. I again prayed for the dying old lady. Then she suddenly spoke, Holy water. So I quickly put holy water on her hand and tried to help her move. But I couldn't flex her arm, which was already rigid. So I made a sign of the cross on her hand with the holy water. Then she suddenly responded, Forgive my sins. Which made everyone so amazed. Ever since she collapsed, she couldn't say a single word. People said, please open your eyes only once before you die. However, she said, holy water and forgive my sins, which made everyone burst into tears. Two hours later, before I went back to Naju, I said to them, Now your mother survived. Then I left there. That night, her mother-in-law said that she wanted to get up from the bed and was hungry. She had clear porridge and even yogurt. She was able to sit down and talk. So, her family and the neighbors who watched this directly in front of their eyes said they were truly amazed several times at this mystical miracle. The next day, she was already back to normal and onlookers rushed in. The lady joyfully had a feast to celebrate her mother-in-law's second birth with all the food she had prepared for the funeral. Also, she said since then her mother-in-law shed her skin like a silkworm because her dead skin came back to life. The lady said, The manifestation of the Blessed Mother of Naju is a microcosm of heaven. Also, a lot of her family members who gathered there got healed wholly at that place. <laughs> Uh, 
The lady who was suffering from a bad stomach ache before was told that she could leave only for four months more because of a duodenal ulcer. When she came to Naju, she was healed through repentance. She could even eat at midnight a plateful of rice cake and chew the dried squid up to its head without any problem. <laughs> Her vocal cords had been clogged for 15 years which prevented her from singing. I said to her, you can sing. I intended to let her volunteer as a member of the church choir, so I said, you can do it. Through her amen, she was healed. <laughs> The wife of her husband's younger brother couldn't eat anything at night for 20 years because of her stomach disorder. She couldn't eat anything spicy. A younger brother of her husband was also suffering so much from diabetes. The husband of her husband's sister had a pleurisy operation, but because of a continuing high fever, he had to visit the hospital very often, but to no avail. When he heard of his mother-in-law's imminent death, he came lying down in the car. <laughs> All the family members were sick, but they were all healed at the time. The lady's elder sister had polio and couldn't walk. Once, she fell in the bathroom and even broke her knee bone. I came back after staying at their house for two hours. When I came out, all her family members followed me together outside to see me off. The lady's sister who had polio walked out and said, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what happened to me? Now before I knew it, I walked without help. I'm completely cured. And the lady's father, who was suffering from chronic diarrhea due to intestinal problems, was also healed. So her family members held a resurrection feast of her mother-in-law with the food which had been prepared for the funeral. Her family was completely healed. <laughs> At the time, they did not believe in Catholicism. They were from different kinds of religions, including one who was an atheist. However, each household adjusted their schedule and prayed the Holy Rosary. They began to be fervent in faith. <laughs> So, how we feel and how well we accept the graces is important. Dear priests, overseas pilgrims, and all of you who have come all the way from afar to console the Blessed Mother on the anniversary of her weeping tears, may all of you receive all these blessings today. <laughs> Thank you.
여러분 모든 영혼 육신을 깨끗이 씻어주실 수 있도록 예수님께서 우리를 위하여 십자사에서 물한 방울 피한 방울도 나뉘고 씻어주신 그 공연 보일로 우리의 영혼 육신의 나쁜 거 깨끗이 씻어주시고 깨끗이 나쁜 것을 끊으시라고 믿습니다 Today it was raining. I believe that the torrents of rain that are pouring down like a waterfall will turn into streams of the clear water of mercy that falls down from high places and flows down so that all of your souls and bodies will be washed clean. I also believe Jesus' precious blood, which is shed on the cross for us without sparing a single drop of water and blood, will wash away and cleanse our impurities and open what has been clogged up in us. <laughs> 영적으로 충성을 다할 것입니다. I will do my best and act in heroic loyalty by exerting the power of love more for the sake of the Lord and the Blessed Mother as well as for all of you until the last day of my life. 모두 함께 해결해서 주인 성원님 영광을 드리도록 합시다. Let us all together reveal the glory of the Lord and the Blessed Mother through repentance. Our Jesus will bestow many graces on us, so dear all, let's prepare a big bowl. Small bowls can only hold a little. They will overflow. Let us prepare a big bowl so that we may receive a lot of graces and then distribute them to many others so that we can bring everyone unto Mary's Ark of Salvation and go up to heaven together on the last day. Let us then enjoy eternal happiness in heaven next to Jesus and the Blessed Mother. <laughs> 그 놀라우신 사랑 앞에서 우리 항상 매일 매 순간 생활의 기도로 모든 것을 맡기도록 합시다. Let us entrust everything before the amazing love of Jesus and the Blessed Mother with the prayers of life every moment of every day. 생활의 기도는 하루 지나간 것도 아, 좀 전에 잃어버렸구나. 지금 하겠습니다. 생활의 기도가 너무 됩니다. 그래서 생활의 기도가 좋습니다. If you missed offering the prayers of life because you forgot, oh, I just forgot to pray that one, I will do right now. And you can just turn it into prayers. That's the merit of the prayers of life. <laughs> And offering up Semchigo, Amen. And it's my fault. All these are connected. So these five spiritualities are inseparably linked. If you have ever felt upset or hurt, it's all my fault who is unworthy. Please forgive me and let us start anew from now on. Thank you. I love you. 
I love you so much. Let us meditate on the messages of love from Jesus and the Blessed Mother. This is the message of love from Jesus on June 30th, 2006. My beloved children of the world who have been called with love and responded with Amen, I bestow the light of my mercy and love on all of you who are gathered here to commemorate my mother's shedding tears. As the light of my love, which is most sublime and pure, and the light of the limitless love of my mother will flow not only to you, but also to your families. Receive the benediction that overflows with boundless blessing, love, and peace. Amen. 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 This is the message of love from the Blessed Mother on July 1st, 1996. All of my beloved children in the world. Even if you face the hour of bloody persecution, you will be guarded and protected by the love which has been bestowed upon you today, and you will find refuge under my mantle. Therefore, offer yourselves up genuinely and totally to enable you to face the new resurrection. Carry joy, love, and peace into your homes and pass on to everyone the encouragement of my presence. May the messages of love from the Lord and the Blessed Mother be realized in all of you as they are. Now, please close your eyes. If up until now we have hated, been unable to forgive or fail to love anyone, bring all these people before the cross of Jesus. In particular, please grant greater grace to our bishops and priests. Please send down infinite blessings on our bishops and priests here, so that through them, many other priests can be transformed and spread the spiritualities of Naju. Please bless not only all these children here, but also their families back home. Jesus, grant us the grace to wake up so that we may not follow the way of Judas, but take the place of Peter. Amen. As in the time of the Tower of Babel, the time of Noah's deluge, and the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, 
May we not go back to those eras, but please purify this world so that it will be saved through us who are unworthy. From our head to our toes, please completely wash and wipe every cell without missing a single one and break through what has been clogged and restore it to its normal condition so that with a healthy soul and body we can become your instruments to make known the glory of the Lord to the whole world. Jesus, please help us remember all those whom we have not forgiven and those who have not forgiven us so that we may be reconciled with each other in you and the Blessed Mother. How anxiously I looked for this love. The Blessed Mother called this feeble sinner. The Blessed Mother unraveled my stories which were woven into sorrow. When I was wandering in pain, she became my real mother, Holy Spirit, operate on my soul and body. Holy Spirit, heal my countless wounds also. Now I want to be healed of the many pains of deep sorrow of the past. Holy Spirit, heal my soul and body. Please lead me to the five spiritualities. When I was suffering, pain and conflict and agony, the Blessed Mother came with love to care for my soul. All of the pain of the past has now completely disappeared. I was born anew with the love of the Blessed Mother. Blessed Mother, with your most sublime love. Blessed Mother, with your most sublime and purest love. Although my soul is sick and in pain, please let me lead to perfection. Blessed Mother, help me to live in heaven. By practicing the five spiritualities,